Of course, Trinidad and Tobago, we have been seeing uh, some of those uh, occasionally choppy seas, particularly out in the Atlantic. And the Met Service advises you to exercise a caution in the sea-related activities simply because of those long swells which are affecting those northern and sheltered coastlines. Now, those swells are from the north-northeast at uh, 12 to 14 seconds. They will continue as you go through Tuesday and also into midweek. With wind waves of one and a half meters to the Caribbean, getting to two meters at times. And also you notice uh, those mainly gentle breezes from the east northeast about 10 knots but it could be getting up to 15 knots but in terms of the weather a lot of cloudiness is still likely occasional showers are possible but we should see some dry air pushing in uh, from the rest of the caribbean into our area so we should be seeing a lot more in terms of some sunshine at least as you go through your first part of your morning for tobago so along the northern coastlines look for the sunny spells down towards the south occasional showers as well popping up across the hills and that will be a similar picture for those in trinidad with just the occasional showers coming into maraval out towards Diego Martin as well. But most of all, you will be seeing some sunshine from time to time. And that similarly applies for southern Trinidad. San Fernando will see a bright and a sunny start. The clouds will come through in the mid-morning into the afternoon, but most of the showers should be along the south coast. So it will feel relatively warm at times, 32 degrees Celsius in Trinidad, 31 in a Tobago, but also with the moisture around it could feel quite sticky and muggy as well. Looking as we go through the rest of the week, mostly settled weather, tranquil for the most part, there's occasional showers coming through on Wednesday and a Thursday. But for the most part, if you are bathers or looking at a heading offshore, watch out for those long swells. So that's your weather and that's it from me.